Greetings once again, my fellow modular synthesizer fanatics. Today I set out to do a demonstration on the MOTM 654 channel MIDI to CV converter module. This module is capable of doing a lot of different things through MIDI. I only use about half of what it's capable of doing. I'm going to send four different MIDI patterns out of the computer through MIDI, and then the module will send it out through CV to four different synthesizer patches in this modular setup. This was supposed to be just a three or four minute demo of what the MOT M650 can do, but I ended up writing a song that I thought was pretty cool for Halloween out of all this. So I broke everything up into four different videos. This first video is an overview of the whole project. The three following videos are the song that resulted from this demo. I have a 100% digital version using only software synthesizers that were in the computer originally. Then 100% analog only using the modular as sounds. And then the last one is a hybrid using sounds from both sources, the computer soft synth, the modular synthesizer, and I added real drums to it. Let's start with the source of the MIDI information, which is in the computer. There are a lot of people up here on YouTube doing some great things with analog sequencers from all over the world. Unfortunately, my analog sequencer setup is not at the point where I can produce the type of arrangements that I'm hearing in my head. I'm still building it, so it'll get there eventually. But for now, I'm doing all of my writing in the computer, and then I'm transferring that MIDI information out to the modular to create the songs and patterns you are about to hear. This is the Cubase 4 program, and right now it's just running MIDI information for this song. Four tracks have been created. The first one at the bottom is a drone that you can see here, and it is controlling a soft synth called Massive. The next one up is the bass line, and that is controlling a synth called Sample Moog. Above that is an eerie sort of piano sequence with Pro 53 providing the sounds. And the last one you see here at the top is the lead line, which is sort of a Robert Fripp type solo using OBX Pro for the sounds, which is a model of an Oberheim. Let's listen to a section of that. You can hear that entire piece on the next video titled 09 Digital October. Next I took all of that MIDI information and sent it out of the computer to the MOTM650 through this RME box. This is basically like the hundreds of other audio MIDI interfaces made for Mac and PCs that are on the market today. This one I like a lot because it always works. That's a nice feature that I like is something that you can depend on. And Pee Wee seems to like it a lot as well. Now, without trying to imitate or duplicate any of those digital sounds you've heard, I took the exact same arrangement and sent it out to this modular synthesizer over here, and it created a completely different style and feel to the song. The MOTM650 is sending CV out to four different oscillators. Two of them are synthesizers.coms, the next is a crazy SN Voice custom built module, which I'll probably get into in another video more in detail. And then the last one is a dope for Eurorack module, VCO. And to add to the madness, we have this Mankato filter over here. The MOTM650 is also sending out velocity and auxiliary information to the filters to create some cool rhythms and effects throughout the piece. You can hear this version of the song in part three, which is titled 09 Analog October. And then check out the last video, which is 09 Hybrid October, which has a little bit of everything plus some real drums.